So Vim has the ability to help you out with spell checking. And if you hop over to spell in the help files, you can see there's a whole page all about the different things you can tell Vim to do in terms of spell checking. I'm not going to go through all of this. You can certainly check out these help files to understand better what's available to you. But I'm going to look at in this video a couple quick things that I do to sort of help myself out as I'm writing different sorts of documentation and other prose style nonfiction writing. So if I'm to jump over to this file here, this was one I wrote today, and you can see I already have spelling turned on, um, which is what this red highlighting is doing, is it's telling me things that it, Vim thinks are not spelled. And in most Vim setups, by default, you're gonna have spell turned off. So that's gonna look like set no spell like this, and everything is going to look like this without any sort of markings for things that are spelled incorrectly, which means if I'm going along and writing some sort of sentence that uses a word like necessarily, and I'm like, oh shoot, did I spell necessarily right? I always get that wrong. Well, what I can do is I can say set spell and check. And sure enough, I've spelled it wrong and it's highlighted it here. And so this is sort of the first tip I want to look at. What I can do is I can move the cursor on top of this word and I can hit Z equal. And that will pop open this window here and it shows me all the possible things that Vim might want to suggest as possible respellings of what I've got. And usually it's the one top one or two that are what I'm looking for. So this spelling right here necessarily is what I want. So I hit one to read refer to this entry here and I hit enter and it respells it for me in the correct way and now I can move on and keep you know writing whatever the sentence is um, so that's a handy way once you've you know finished writing out a thing you can turn on spelling and see what you've misspelled and make any sort of corrections now another thing that comes up is instances like this where I have x state or typescript these things are not misspelled they're just not words that Vim or its dictionary knows about. So if I want to tell Vim about them so that they don't show up as misspellings anymore, I can hit um, a command called ZG. So we'll see ZG right here, add the word under the cursor as what is considered a good word um, to the spell file. So then Vim won't treat it like it's a misspelling anymore. So I'll hit ZG and it, so you can see right here, it has added it to this file. So if I Go ahead and open that up. I can see a listing of different words that I've added to my uh, custom English UTF-8 spell listing. And so these are all things that Vim will now treat as good words um, as they show up. Um, if I were to you know, do something like type TypeScript like this without um, the capital S, it's gonna treated, I guess, in this case as being spelled correctly, but if I hit Z equal on it, it's going to recommend as the top spelling to use the capital S, in which case I can, you know, accept that correction. Um, certainly I could go through and do Z equal to add this to my dictionary as well. Again, there are all sorts of things you can do when it comes to spell checking in Vim. I definitely recommend checking out the help files for those. These two things, ZG and Z equal, are the things that I use most often. Hope you found this video helpful. Definitely leave a comment if you have any questions or suggestions. And for more videos like this, make sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching.